seven days into 2025, and SpaceX is making history yet again. The world's most ambitious rocket company isn't just preparing for another launch. They're about to unveil something extraordinary. Flight 7 of Starship, their revolutionary spacecraft, is ready to push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. But this isn't just another test flight. For the first time ever, Starship will carry actual payloads into space. Ten Starlink simulators sit ready in its cargo bay, waiting to prove that this massive vehicle can do more than just reach orbit. It can revolutionize how we deploy satellites. The excitement at Starbase in Bogica, Texas, is palpable. Engineers are making final preparations on Booster 14 and Ship 33, the latest iterations of SpaceX's most powerful rocket system. These aren't just upgraded versions. They represent the next generation of space technology, with improvements that touch everything from the heat shield to the navigation systems. 2025 is shaping up to be SpaceX's most ambitious year yet. With 25 FAA launch licenses already secured, the company is positioned to achieve more in the next 12 months than many space programs accomplish in a decade. The rapid progress from their first integrated flight test in April 2023 to now shows just how far they've come and hints at where they're heading next. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in the future of space exploration. Let's dive right in. At SpaceX's Starbase facility in Texas, Dawn breaks over what might be the most advanced spacecraft ever built. The massive silhouette of Starship stands against the orange sky. But this isn't just any Starship. This is Ship 33, paired with Booster 14, representing the culmination of years of innovation and countless lessons learned from previous flights. The journey to Flight 7 tells a story of persistence and rapid evolution. When SpaceX first launched Starship in April 2023, Skeptics questioned whether such an ambitious vehicle could ever work. The explosion minutes into that first flight led to headlines questioning the entire program. But what those critics missed was something fundamental about SpaceX's approach. Every failure provided invaluable data. Every setback contained the seeds of future success. As we stand here in early 2025, that methodical progression becomes clear. The time between launches has shrunk dramatically. What once took months of preparation can now be accomplished in weeks. This acceleration wasn't just about speed, it was about perfecting every component, every system, every procedure. The teams at SpaceX have worked around the clock, learning from each test, implementing improvements, and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Ship 33 represents a quantum leap forward in spacecraft design. The most visible changes are in its aerodynamic profile. The forward flaps have been completely redesigned, now smaller and sharper, positioned closer to the vehicle's nose. But these aren't just aesthetic changes. The new configuration provides superior control during the critical re-entry phase, while offering enhanced protection against the intense heat of atmospheric re-entry. Perhaps the most significant advancement lies in the fuel system. Engineers have achieved what many thought impossible, a 25% increase in fuel capacity without significantly increasing the vehicle's mass. This breakthrough came through innovative tank design and improved fuel feed lines that maximize efficiency. For perspective, this extra fuel capacity could mean the difference between a simple orbital mission and having enough Delta VR for lunar operations. The heat shield tells another story of relentless innovation. Previous versions showed vulnerability during the intense forces of re-entry. The solution wasn't just better tiles. It was a complete rethinking of thermal protection. The new system includes next-generation tiles backed by a secondary protective layer. If a tile is damaged or lost during ascent, this backup system ensures the spacecraft remains protected during the critical re-entry phase. But the real game-changer lies in Starship's brain, its avionics system. The new suite includes redundant computers with processing power that would have seemed like science fiction just a few years ago. These systems don't just control the vehicle, they predict and adapt to changing conditions in real time. For the first time, Starship will be equipped with Starlink capabilities, streaming high-definition video at over 120 megabytes per second. This isn't just about providing pretty pictures, 
It's about having unprecedented insight into the vehicle's performance during every phase of flight. Flight 7's mission profile reads like a space enthusiast's wish list. For the first time, Starship will deploy actual payloads, 10 Starlink simulators designed to mirror the mass and dimensions of next-generation satellites. This isn't just a test of deployment mechanisms. It's a crucial step toward Starship's role in building the infrastructure of our spacefaring future. The mission includes another crucial test, relighting a Raptor engine in space. This might sound simple, but it's one of the most challenging aspects of spaceflight. The ability to reliably restart engines in the vacuum of space is essential for everything from orbital adjustments to interplanetary missions. Success here opens the door to lunar missions, Mars transfers, and beyond. SpaceX's preparation for this flight has been methodical and comprehensive. The integration of Booster 14 and Ship 33 isn't just an assembly process. It's a carefully choreographed operation where every component, every connection, every system must be perfect. The installation of the flight termination system on January 2nd marked a critical milestone, representing the final major safety system to be integrated before launch. The FAA's role in this story cannot be understated. The relationship between SpaceX and the regulatory agency has evolved significantly. Early in Starship's development, obtaining launch licenses was a lengthy, often frustrating process that could take months. But through persistent advocacy and demonstrated success, SpaceX helped drive changes in how commercial spaceflight is regulated. The approval of 25 launch licenses for 2025 represents a new era of trust and cooperation between industry and regulators. Looking beyond Flight 7, SpaceX's ambitions for 2025 are staggering. The company isn't just planning more launches, they're preparing to demonstrate technologies that will revolutionize spaceflight. The planned in-orbit refueling demonstration between two starships could be the key that unlocks the solar system. This capability, combined with Starship's massive payload capacity, would transform everything from lunar missions to Mars colonization plans. The engineering teams are already working on even more advanced features. The development of radar sensors for the chopstick catching system represents a bold vision, the ability to catch and recover the upper stage of Starship during re-entry. This would be an unprecedented achievement in spaceflight, potentially allowing for rapid reuse of the entire vehicle with minimal refurbishment. SpaceX's achievements with the Falcon 9 program, completing 138 launches in 2024, demonstrate their ability to operate at high frequency. But Starship represents a different level of complexity. The challenge isn't just launching 25 times in a year. It's about doing so while continuing to push the boundaries of what's possible in spaceflight. As we count down to January 10th, 2025, the atmosphere at Starbase is electric with anticipation. Each successful Starship flight brings us closer to a future where space travel is as routine as air travel, where lunar bases and Mars colonies aren't just dreams, but practical realities. Flight 7 isn't just another launch. It's another step toward transforming humanity into a multi-planetary species. As we stand on the brink of Flight 7, we're not just witnessing another rocket launch. We're watching history unfold. SpaceX's journey from their first Starship test to this moment reflects humanity's enduring drive to push beyond our limits. With improved heat shields, advanced avionics, and the first ever payload deployment, this mission marks a pivotal moment in our journey to the stars. The excitement building toward January 10th, 2025, isn't just about the technical achievements. It's about what these advances mean for our future in space. Each improvement to Starship, from its redesigned flaps to its enhanced fuel capacity, brings us one step closer to regular lunar missions, Mars exploration, and perhaps destinations we haven't even dreamed of yet. Stay tuned to Elon Musk 24 hours for exclusive coverage of Flight 7 and all the latest developments in space exploration. We'll be bringing you live updates, expert analysis, and behind the scenes insights you won't find anywhere else. Hit subscribe and turn on notifications to join us on this incredible journey. Drop a comment below with your predictions for Flight 7. Will we see a successful payload deployment? A perfect landing? Your engagement helps build our community of space enthusiasts. 
Remember, every great achievement in history started with a single step. On January 10th, we're taking another giant leap forward. See you at launch. The next evolution of Starship is here. Those words lit up SpaceX's social media on January 2nd, 2025, sending waves through the space community. While the world was still celebrating the new year, SpaceX's teams were already hard at work, installing the critical flight termination system on Booster 14 under the stars of the Texas night sky. This wasn't just another routine upgrade. It was the dawn of Starship 5-2 a complete reimagining of the most powerful rocket ever built. The changes? They're bold. A 25% increase in fuel capacity, next-generation heat shields, sharper aerodynamic surfaces. And for the first time ever, this beast will carry actual payload to space. But what makes Flight 7 truly special isn't just the hardware, it's what it represents. After six test flights pushing the boundaries of what's possible, SpaceX is about to attempt something unprecedented, a suborbital flight that will test real-world capabilities critical for future Moon and Mars missions. The stage is set at Starbase. Booster 14 stands ready. Ship 33 awaits its moment. And in the control rooms, SpaceX engineers are preparing for what could be their most ambitious test yet. From the historic first Falcon 9 launch of 2025 just days ago, to this upcoming milestone, we're witnessing history in the making, and you're here for every moment of it. Today on Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're breaking down every upgrade, every modification, and every goal of this groundbreaking mission. Let's dive right in. Look closely at Booster 14 as it stands against the Texas sky, and you'll notice something different. The changes might seem subtle at first. A modified grid fin here, an enhanced thrust vector control there, but they represent years of learning, countless hours of engineering, and six test flights worth of data all culminating in this moment. The story of Flight 7 begins not with the hardware, but with a vision. When SpaceX first unveiled Starship, skeptics called it impossible. Too big, too ambitious, too different from anything that came before. But flight after flight, SpaceX has turned those impossibilities into reality. Now with Flight 7, they're about to push those boundaries even further. Let's break down what makes this launch truly revolutionary. At the heart of Starship the Fives, two lies a complete reimagining of what a spacecraft can be. The forward flaps, those crucial control surfaces that guide Starship through its descent, have been transformed. They're now smaller, sharper, and positioned closer to the vehicle's tip. This isn't just about aesthetics. By moving them away from the heat shield, SpaceX has created a more aerodynamic profile while enhancing their effectiveness during the critical re-entry phase. But the real game changer? It's what's inside. SpaceX has increased the fuel capacity by a staggering 25%. Think about that for a moment. That's not just a minor adjustment, it's a fundamental leap forward in what Starship can achieve. To support this massive increase, They've completely redesigned the fuel feed system. New vacuum jacketed lines will deliver that extra propellant to upgraded Raptor engines with unprecedented efficiency. The heat shield, always a critical component, has evolved into something extraordinary. The next generation tiles aren't just stronger, they're backed by a redundant layer that ensures protection even if individual tiles are damaged or lost during flight. This dual-layer approach represents a new philosophy in spacecraft design, not just preventing failure, but embracing resilience. Here's where things get really interesting. Flight 7 will carry actual payload for the first time, 10 Starlink satellite simulators. These aren't just dummy weights. They're carefully designed to match the exact specifications of next-generation Starlink satellites. During the suborbital flight, SpaceX will attempt their first-ever payload deployment from Starship. This isn't just a test, it's a dress rehearsal for the future of satellite deployment. The avionics system has received a massive overhaul. We're talking about new flight computers that pack more processing power than ever before. The integration of Starlink, GNSS, and backup RF communications into a single antenna system isn't just clever engineering. It's a preview of how future spacecraft will stay connected. 
With over 30 high-definition cameras installed throughout the vehicle, we'll have unprecedented views of every critical moment. Speaking of views, Starship will be streaming more than 120 megabits per second